ีเจ็ดโอ้โหลังลังเร็วอะไรอะไรพอเลย sorry ตัวเองฟัง First, let me begin by welcoming all of you to the launch of my book name Like Me or Hate Me. My dear friends and comrades, a lot of people ask me, why are you launching the book yourself? Uh, why are you not inviting some V V I P? As you are all aware, in the 509 general election, Riot Malaysia replaced the previous administration and installed a new government. After the new government was set up, the press dubbed this Malaysia as a new Malaysia giving rise to new expectation and new hope. To me, we also should have a new, I would call, outlook, new approach at looking at things. So a new approach at looking at things, I was thinking to myself, why can't I launch the book myself? Because once upon a time, once upon a time, I was also a VIP. But that is past. So I have the honor of doing to launch my book myself. To begin with, writing this book represents a tremendous challenge to me because I don't have a habit of keeping diary. It all depends on my aging memory. And I must thank God that my memory has not failed me. I promise my comrade that I'll try to keep myself mentally active at least until the age of 93. <laughs> If there is any error or any offense, it is unintentional and I would like to tender my humble apology to the affected parties. In writing this book, in fact, I wanted to keep myself occupied at the same time to stimulate my brain cell. And if I've said earlier, to keep my brain active until the age of 93. I was also hoping that through this book, I could engage with my friends and comrades. And hoping more is that more people in MCA should share with us their life and their political struggle. So in short, in writing this book, I regard it as a process of self-educating myself and it enabled me to understand better the contribution of MCA past leadership to nation building. Of course, there were a lot of people who asked me that you should only concentrate on that part which is more interesting and more juicy. That is when I re resigned from all my government posts and party post in 2001, in 2008. And subsequently, I made a successful comeback. One year later, I was sacked by the party. And with the support of friends and comrades, I made a successful second comeback. Of course, this part of my life will remain with me for the rest of my life. And I regard it as a personal crisis either political or family crisis. And it is only part of my long journey in life and politics. So I thought an autobiography would be a better record of what I've done since the day I was born until today. So ladies and gentlemen, then when I was about to finish the book, the greatest challenge to me was the title of the book. I really don't know what title to give. So one day, I actually was having coffee with a good friend. He's unable to be here because he is overseas. He told me, and when I asked him, can you suggest a name or title for my book? He gave only five seconds, I would say. And he said, it's very easy. He has a lot of friends, and most of them either like me or hate me. So he, that should be your title. So ladies and gentlemen, the name and the title of my book is Like Me or Hate Me. I have been very frank with people, calling a spade and a spade. 
Of course, these have been construed by some people as arrogant and abrasive. But actually, I'm not. I'm just trying to be frank with people. So people get offended. And I know that there are people who think that I'm arrogant and abrasive. But I always console myself that I must have more people who like me than hate me or dislike me. Otherwise, how can I survive in politics for 30 years? Agree? So I think it is still good to be frank. Coming to my party MCA, I spent half my lifetime in the party. And today, like all my comrades who are here, we are disappointed, we are disheartened, we are frustrated because the party is reduced to the shadow of its former glory. And what is worse is that the present leadership is unable and unwilling to address issues confronting the party and the community. This question of avoiding major issues. A very good example is why can't MCA leadership make a simple decision whether to stay within the party or stay within the end or leave the end. The very simple decision. When I was asked if I'm the president, the first thing I do is to leave Barisan National. <laughs> then we have this answer, which some friend tells me is the biggest political joke in the country for the year 2018. One top leadership in the MCA says the MCA will not leave BN, but MCA will sack Amno from BN. <laughs> so this has gone down to become a political joke. And we become a laughing joke among a lot of people. So, dear comrades, next month is a party election, so use your vote wisely. What we want is leadership that can show us the future direction of the party. Leadership that can give hope, inspiration to the mass grassroots of MCA. Say what you like about MCA. Despite being defeated in 509, most of the MCA members still remain loyal and still remain within the party. So what they need is hope and inspiration from the new leadership. A leadership in total denial, like what we have today, is, con is I would say, certain to be doomed. So friends, we hope that the new leadership that will be elected next month in the party election should be brave. Say the right thing and do the right thing. And what is more important, that what you say and what you do can cut across all racial divide. Then only people have hope that MCA is now saying the right thing and doing the right thing, and not in total denial. And if you want that type of leadership, we have to empower them. And the only way to empower them is through your vote. So if you want our leaders to be brave, uh, all comrades, you also must be brave to change the leadership. So nobody is clapping. So you people don't want to change the leadership. <laughs> change the leadership so that it will give us hope and confidence. This book, my dear friend, is dedicated to my beloved wife of 45 years. Where is she? To my family members, to my friends and comrades, I must salute all of them because they have given me guidance, given me support in my whole political career which sometimes can be quite turbulent. I must also thank all my previous secretary, Min Fa, Jin, Chin Chin, Yi Wan, and uh, who have continued to volunteer their service for me. And I also must acknowledge appreciation and thanks 
to my long-serving personal assistant, Chin Wai Lin. Uh, she was the one who recorded and typed everything I said. I'm very poor in writing, but nobody can read my writing. So I used oral recording in order to get this book done. And she, with the help of E1 and Kowei, managed to translate it into Mandarin, all in all taking four months just to translate from English version to the Mandarin version. So, friends and comrades, I once again would like to thank you and hope that all of you were blessed with good health and uh, happiness. And please do not hesitate to support me by buying the book. Thank you.